It's time to change the focus in our prayers. So hello and welcome back to this channel and today is day five of the 10 days of prayer and what a blessing it is that we are halfway through this 10 days of prayer and I thank God for just bringing me through it. So today's topic is focusing on things that matter in our prayers. So as I was thinking about this topic today, I was reminded in Luke chapter 11, the disciples asked Christ, Lord, teach us how to pray as John taught his disciples. And we see in Luke chapter 11, the Lord's prayer. We also see this prayer as well in Matthew chapter six. So Jesus responded to them, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. So this was the starting point of the Lord's Prayer and the Lord's Prayer does go longer. But in this early part of the Lord's Prayer, I think about what the focus should be in our prayers. This verse starts by saying, our Father, hallowed be thy name. So in our prayers, there should be a part of us acknowledging God as our Father, acknowledging him in terms of his authority and addressing him as we pray to him. Another thing that really stands out to me here is about praying for the will of God in our lives. Many a times when we pray, we just have a long list of desires. But in the Lord's Prayer, it is encouraged for us to really remember God's will for us in our lives. So as we pray, we rest on God's will, not my will, but your will be done. So as I reflected upon this, I thought to myself, it is so time for us to change the focus in our prayers, to acknowledge God as our Lord and Saviour, hallowed be thy name, but also as well remembering God's will, wanting us to truly follow the will of God as our Father and friend, and also wanting to follow God's will for our life. So on that note, I just want to read a snippet from today's lesson that really stood out to me. Prayer that is pleasing to God, first recognize God as my faithful friend whose companionship I seek because he is important to me. Not because I want something from him, who he is is much more important than the things he gives me. Knowing him is the reason I want to talk to him in the first place. Without him, my life is decentered and lacks the proper perception. More important than anything, I can ask for should be my desire to be with him. His presence and who he is becomes the centre of my prayer. Dear friends, we have to change the focus of our prayer. Carrying on, it says, when I consci consciously think about God's character his qualities and what he's able to do. And when I express my adoration in my own words, my prayers are filled with spiritual life, adoration and awe. No longer are my prayers centred upon my problems, but on God, who is the master of all my needs. Such prayer lifts me up into his presence. It does not change God, it changes me. Why not start praying like that? It will change your life. So dear friends, as we reflect upon this video, let us change the focus on our prayers. Even in our human life, when we talk to someone and we have a relationship with them, it is much deeper and much stronger when we are talking and even asking for something. But when we have no relationship, it just kind of seems a bit, you know, awkward and lack of connection. But let us have our connection with God so that when we pray, we will receive power. Let us pray according to God's word in Matthew chapter 6, the first part of the Lord's Prayer. 
Dear Lord, we thank you and we praise you because you are our God and you are our Saviour. Hallowed be your name. We thank you, Lord, because you're a God who created the heavens, the earth, the stars and the seas. Thank you, Lord, for even creating us and thank you so much for giving us a plan and purpose. We pray, Lord, that going forward that you will be centre in our life, that we would seek to know your will and we would seek to know your will for our lives and we would also have the strength and courage to follow your will all the days of our life. Give us the power to be overcomers. Forgive us, Lord, for times when we have gone and asked about things for selfish ways. Forgive us, Lord, for times where we haven't even prayed for others in our prayer time. Help us, Lord, to have a care and love for those around us and to always see the best in other people. Give us strength, give us victory and help our prayer life to change for the better today. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So dear friends, I pray that you are blessed. Have a blessed day and see you tomorrow by God's grace. Bye.